we had two groups of people, males and females. They were all resistance trained, and we randomly assigned half of them to a If It Fits Your Macros group. We as randomly assigned the other half to a meal plan group, or what we called the rigid dieting group. And the macro group, we said, are the If It Fits Your Macros group. Eat whatever you want. Just make sure you hit your macros. Both groups reduced their calories by 25%, and they did that over a 10-week period. So it was a 10-week diet. After the 10-week diet, we had a post-diet phase. And what we told them was, after the diet's over, for 10 weeks, don't diet anymore. Just do whatever you want. If you want to track, track. We wanted to see how people would come out of these diets. How would their bodies right. respond if you were previously tracking or if you were following a rigid diet? Basically, there wasn't any significant differences in weight loss. Both groups lost about five pounds over the 10-week period. The really intriguing part came during this post-diet phase. So after the 10 weeks of not doing anything, the group that was previously in the flexible dieting group actually gained a significant amount of lean body mass as compared to the rigid group. Were they primed for more long-term success then? That's our takeaway. Mm -hmm.